A man is in jail accused of kidnapping his wife. The investigation into this morning's case spanned two counties. Police say they were notified after the victim told a clerk at a Love's truck stop she was being held hostage. Police eventually located the pair in Lexington. WKYT's Hillary Thornton has more now in our top story at 5. Jeffrey Rowland is in the Clark County Detention Center. Clark County, the place police believe the kidnapping of his wife all started a little after 7 this morning. His wife going inside this Love's truck stop off Interstate 75 in Madison County, telling the clerk she was being held against her will, begging him to call 911 without alerting the man who was waiting on her outside. The clerk then pretending to take out the trash writing down a vehicle description and license plate number. Troopers say that description given was extremely helpful for them in finding the suspect and the victim. Get a, a good description of the vehicle and uh, and able to provide information so that we could uh, pretty much identify who we were looking for. Shortly after getting that 911 call with the help of Lexington police, investigators finding the vehicle at the Thoroughbred Center off Paris Pike. The victim found okay. Her husband, Jeffrey Rowland Sr., taken into custody. Folks at the track say Rowland has worked there for years and nothing seemed out of the ordinary today. And he'd been on horses all morning, normal, everything was normal, until all the police came in. And I, I was walking the horse and I seen him walk up on him. According to his arrest citation, investigators say he bound and gagged his wife, torturing her for hours. Rowland Sr. has a lengthy list of prior charges at the Clark County Circuit Clerk's Office, including domestic violence, theft, assault, and terroristic threatening. Also on file under his name, four emergency protection orders, all from different women, including his wife. As Rowland sits in jail, police praising quick thinking by the clerk back in Madison County. Who knows if she would have been able to have another opportunity to, to call for help. Hillary Thornton, WKYT. According to court documents, the EPO filed by his wife is active through 2018, but was amended this year to allow the two to have contact. 